Welcome everybody to another episode here with Dad with a Bike. It is January and uh, it has been ridiculously cold here in Austin, Texas. We actually got snow this past week. Not just a little bit of snow, but like three inches of snow. And that is a rarity in Central Texas. That just doesn't happen. So, it has been cold, hadn't been able to post, but now we are. We're making this video. And we're actually going to talk about a uh, nifty little item that I got from my bobber that I've been looking for. And we're going to jump into that when we come right back. So if you're interested, stick around. We're going to talk about this Inns Cuyo saddlebag. Alrighty y'all, thanks for sticking around and real quick, if you are new to the channel you just came across because you're interested, you want to hear more about this Enz Cuyo saddlebag or the series of saddlebags they have, do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe, notify and uh, join the family. I do have a Patreon channel so check in the description, go check me out on Patreon and uh, become a supporter. Uh, those who support my channel, they get their name thrown in a hat for helping me decide on what I do from a content perspective or what I do next in content. Videos you may want to see as well as get your name thrown in the hat when uh, we do some give giveaways. All the proceeds from my Patreon go right back in the channel. So uh, the more subscribers we have, the more uh, supporters we have, the more uh, cool crap we can give away. So, let us get right to the, the uh, details of uh, this video, which is this Enns Cuyo bag. Now, I'm going to preface this because, yes, I ride a bobber. Well, we go through this a lot because of the way of modifications I made to my bobber, don't we? But anyway, yes, I have a bobber. Uh, yeah, I take it on long distance and, you know, I need bags and stuff and I commute on it. So, blah, 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 it's what I need. Anyway. The conundrum that I've had is when I bought the bike, I bought it with Indian's uh, solo saddlebag. And I was just not a fan of that saddlebag. I didn't like the way it looked. It had that kind of, it was, it wasn't really leather. And it had that Cordura or Cordura, whatever that material is. And it just looked out of place. It didn't look polished. So, you <clears throat> know, I sold that. And then I tried some other contraptions. I tried some throwover saddlebags. And I never liked the way the throwover saddlebags fit. You know, the way they just kind of bobbled around. They never really seemed to fit the bike well. Uh, new, a new vet. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, and uh, so, you know, uh, I uh, gifted those away. And then I tried my Hepco and Becker. So I bought some Hepco and Becker, and those were really nice saddlebags. So, you know, I really liked the Hepco and Becker. The problem and in, in why they didn't quite work for me and why I sold them was I used the Dean Speed Sissy Bar. And the Dean Speed Sissy Bar is not a really a flush mount sissy bar. It's a sissy bar that, you know, mounts to the outside, but it, it kind of has a little, it protrudes a bit. And... Um, the quick release brackets for the Hepco and Becker bags also had kind of uh, some offsets. So when you put the uh, <clears throat> when you put the sissy bar on and then you put the bags on, I mean it stuck out. It looked like this thing had a giant ass. So if you didn't have the Dean and Speeds uh, or the Dean Speed sissy bar, then you know it would have looked just fine and I like the fact that they were a quick release so you know they were cool anyway they didn't fit aesthetically they fit functionally but I wanted something that also fit aesthetically and I had been eyeballing the uh, Inns Cuyo bags for a while I was actually on the fence of trying the uh, Thrasher bags or the bags from uh, like Torque Motorcycle they were supposed to be a little stiffer throw over bags but you know for the price uh, I was 
darn near close to what it would cost for me to get an ENS Cuyo bag. So I pulled the trigger on the ENS Cuyo bag. And I gotta say, I am ridiculously pleased with it. We're gonna pull off up here in a bit and we're gonna actually do a walkthrough in the bag. Um, but I, I bought the Tomahawk. So the ENS Cuyo Tomahawk, it's uh, kind of an angled, meant to be either a single sided bag or you can buy two bags and throw them on both sides. Right now, I've only got one on, but I just bought the second. So I'm gonna have a left bag and a right bag. I liked it that much. So the bag itself is leather and it is really, really well done. And the Inns Cuyo guys, they do one heck of a job on the quality of those bags. They are phenomenal, true leather, thick. I mean, it is, it is a nice, nice bag. And it's spacious enough for me to throw some stuff in, maybe for a day trip. So when I go on my longer trips, it's even going to be better because I won't have to, you know, cram as much stuff on my tail rack and my sissy bar bag. You know, my little saddlebags will be able to help me. And the great thing about them is they're, they're flush mount. So even when I put my Dean Speed sissy bar on, or when I've got it on, which is usually, um, they mount flush right up against it so I don't have it, it it doesn't stick out it doesn't make doesn't make my ass look fat <laughs> and uh, and, and, it, and it's aesthetically pleasing so you know when we look at it from the we stop up here in a bit when we look at it from the front of the bike you'll see that the bags don't protrude all in all it's a uh, super nice setup now you can choose all kinds of different configurations from Enz Cuyo. So if you go on their website, you can choose all kinds of variations of the bags. They've got lots of different bags you can buy for the Indian Scout Bobber. And they also have uh, lots of customizations that you can make to them. So you can add different stitch color, uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, it, it is, it's a solid uh, you know, purchasing experience when you do it through Enz Cuyo. And when I bought my first one, I needed to reach back out to the customer service because I wanted the quick release buckle, but I forgot to put it on. And uh, I was like, crap, well, I'll give it a shot. I'm going to reach out to the customer service and see if I can get this fixed. So easy, so fast. They responded the same day. So, you know, thumbs up to the guys at Enz Cuyo for customer service. I mean, it was pretty dang good. So. The experience from me trying to search for something that's going to fit my bike to finding one that does and hoping that it looks good to finding out when I put it on the bike it looks damn good and they back it up with the quality and the customer service that you just you just can't beat and uh, I'm really really happy with them uh, so happy like I said that uh, you know I bought another one so let's pull in here and we'll actually do a quick walk around and I'll let y'all take a look at this bike or the uh the bag pull over here and so we're out of the traffic and out of the way Duh -duh. Skirt, skirt. all right so uh that's the bag and it is nice looking it is very very well done um, so super thick leather, um, and I'll see if I can get in there to show you. See, it has a big solid bracket mount here that fits flush up against the saddlebag, and then the bolts on the inside kind of go flush up against um, my Dean Speed bracket. Anyway, so when I open it up, and this is the other thing that's cool, uh, if you get this bag, I highly recommend the quick release buckles. It's like $34 more. But it's single finger operated. Check it out. I reach up here, I grab that sucker, and I just give it a pinch, basically pull it, and boom. Nice. So it does have these uh, flaps that you can buckle. I just have it on here because of the junk I threw in here. Is you know, just some cold weather gloves. But that's it. So <clears throat> this bracket itself. Actually, you can see it right here. This is the back side of the bracket. Just bolts in, and then the bracket itself has two bolts that go out that the saddlebag mounts to. 
and then it has these two bolts and the washers that go on and that's it and the back of this is is solid it, it it's going nowhere so there's no like disformation if you put a whole bunch of stuff in here it's not gonna sag it's not gonna look like crap so that that is the bag now um let me buckle these back up Now from the front, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. You can probably barely see it. Maybe you can even, maybe not even see it, but it's barely there. So wind-wise, it cuts, comes right around me, and none of the wind grabs that bag. So it's going to be great when I get a second bag on the other side. And, you know, like I said, they are leather. leather so the great thing about leather is... You buy some leather protectant like VLCs, um, you know, Mother or whatever that is. It's in a little red spray bottle. And you keep it treated, they will last you forever. And I think it looks pretty nice on the bike. You know, it, f it fits real well next to the rear shocks. Um, it's not bulky. It's not overbearing. I mean, it's perfect for the size of the bike. And really what I wanted to... Uh, to get accomplished so uh man good job ends Kuyo on these bags so go check them out they are dad approved anyway i'm gonna get back on the bike and uh go home and work out so uh thanks y'all for watching if you found this helpful uh do me a favor hit that subscribe like notify and uh, help me grow the channel and if you got any comments uh, you want to know more about this bag or any of my other bags leave me a link uh, I'm gonna start doing a bit more gear review uh, this is a good example one I just picked up this Kiriak and Sissy Bar backpack that's pretty sweet maybe we'll talk about that uh, but anyway you know let me know what y'all want to see and let me know what your thoughts are on that ends Coolio saddlebag and with that we are going to go home, and you guys can have a super awesome day. Y'all be nice to one another, be kind, and uh, be safe. Peace.